everyone, this is Miss Gabby. Welcome to Family Story Time here on Facebook. In honor of Mother's Day, today we are going to read Cocino con Mamá, I'm Cooking with Mom by Ernesto G. Pino. This is a book all about cooking and spending time with your mom and it also has some Spanish words mixed in. So let's get started. It's early in the morning and Mamá is still in bed. There's cereal in the cupboard, but I'd like to cook instead. I know that I am little and the stove is not a toy. Still, I want to learn to cook, even though I'm just a boy. It looks like the little boy is dreaming about food. What food do you think he's dreaming about? Hmm, I think those are pancakes. I guess we'll see. So I make a little noise at first and then more of a rumble. Soon Mama is on her feet with a trip and then a stumble. Mama says, Ricky, mijo, it is Sunday, time to rest. You are active, you are loud, and you're certainly full of zest. You know what zest means? Zest is a word that means he's excited. He certainly looks excited if he's waking everybody in the house up. <laughs> See, Mama, yes, it's true. I am up. It is time to eat. Please, Mama, por favor, let us both prepare a treat. Cocino con Mama, Mom and I cooking together. Cocino con Mama, pancakes, please, light as a feather. Mmm, pancakes. Soon we're both in our warm kitchen and Mama looks in the fridge. Leche, milk. Huevos, eggs, some vanilla, just a smidge. Cocino con mamá, what else do we need? Cocino con mamá, we have stomachs to feed. Flour, of course, that's harina. And some honey, miel pura, plus salt and baking powder. That's sal y levadura. Oranges, ooh. Mama puts on her apron and she ties one on me too. She gathers more ingredients. There are many things to do. She pulls out bowls, tazones, and a pan, a sartén. What next? Mama's rinsing off some oranges, naranjas. I'm perplexed. So am I. Do oranges usually go with pancakes? Hmm. Instead of maple syrup, we will make our own sweet topping. Now beat two eggs, dos huevos, never stopping, never stopping. In my hand, she puts a whisk, un batidor to beat. At first, I spill some egg, so I'll try harder to be neat. That's nice of him. I'm now a cook. No, I'm a chef. We'll need perhaps a chef's assistant. Even so, I'll do the job because I am persistent. Cocino con mamá, this is so much fun. Cocino con mamá, there is so much work to be done. Is he playing with fruit? <laughs> mamá mixes the white powders, sal, levadura, y harina, which she passes through a fine, fine mesh. Si, sí, es muy, muy fina. This mesh, Mama says, is a sieve, un colador, my Ricky. Un colador, un colador. I say, this word is tricky. Sieve, colador. The powders all together are a beautiful white pile. I will place this in your mixing bowl, Mama says with a smile, and as she does, the eggs and powders magically combine. Again, I mix and beat and mix. Look, a batter, very fine. Cocino con mamá, I know that I could do it. Cocino con mamá, see, there's nothing to it. There's all the kitchen tools that they're using. Pouring milk into my batter, mamá says, you're doing well. Mamá's pleased with this young chef. I certainly can tell. She smiles and adds more goodness into the bowl I'm beating. I'm happy to be helping out, but when can we start eating? Oh, he must be hungry. Okay. 
Mama fills another bowl with naranjas and their juices. She adds some miel to sweeten it. Wow, what a topping this is. A squeeze of lime, that's lima, and canela spicy bite. Such a delicious syrup, what a cinnamony delight. Please mix this well, my little cook, Mama says with such pride. And so I do, I'm proud as well. That's something I can't hide. And there's the honey, the miel. Your job is done, Mama says as she's picking up the mix. Now it's time to make panquequeps, which is something I will fix. The stove is hot, Mama says as she seats me at the table. When you grow up, you'll cook them. When you're older, you'll be able. Cocino con Mama, time to keep my distance. Cocino con Mama, there is no resistance. Yeah, he knows the stove is hot. That's why he has to step away. He's listening to his mom. Good job. I watch as Mama heats the pan and adds a pat of butter, which melts and coats the surface with a hissing splutter, sputter. Next, she measures out some batter and she pours it in the pan. I love to watch Mama cook. I think I'm her greatest fan. And right before my eyes appears, a perfect golden cake. It's a very special breakfast, which I helped Mama to make. Delicious. Oh, I want pancakes now. Mama serves me another and I gobble every bit. When she offers me a third, my eyes say, see, sí, but I must quit. I'm slowing down, my tummy's full, my belt's about to snap. Please, just for a moment, I might need a little nap. Cocino con mama, this food is a fiesta. Cocino con mama, it's time for a siesta. Siesta means nap. Mama lifts her sleeping chef and she takes him to bed. She tucks him in and strokes his curls, then kisses his sweet head. Cocino con mijo, my talented boy. Cocino con mijo, what a blessed joy. Fin. The end. Wow, that was a fun book. Thank you for joining us for Family Storytime. Make sure you look at the comment section for some questions and activities. Until next time, happy Mother's Day.